The time has come, my friends. I'm ready to announce the winner of my Sad Switch Stories essay contest. If you missed the original video, click the card in the corner to see what this is all about. But you want to know why it took me so long to pick a winner? Because there were a billion entries. A million, bajillion, trillion entries. But I'm finally done going through them, and I'm going to read you a few of the most heart-wrenching stories I could find, then read the winner. And I've got my, my Kleenex right here, all ready to go. Uh, except it's, um, it's not actually Kleenex, it's, it's just toilet paper, because I'm, uh, too cheap to buy Kleenex. Sorry. And to be absolutely clear before we start, I'm only giving away Zelda Special Edition and a shirt. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why so many people seem to think I'm giving away a Switch. I, I, I never said I was giving away a Switch. Just Zelda and a shirt. So, uh, anyway, let's get started. Fans, make me cry. First, we got an entry from A Jolly Skeleton. I do have a Switch. It's awesome. I love it. But one day, I took it to work. I wanted to play some Isaac on my lunch break. Fits in my pocket. Joy-Cons and earbuds go in another. Keys in another. Phones in a fourth. Wallet at the back. Cargo pants hater? Not I, for I am a toter of cargo. But I forgot to wear a belt. Oof, that's rough, man. Keep, keep fighting the good fight and wearing those cargo shorts, though. Next up is a tear-jerking tale by Darren Yup. The reason I haven't been able to purchase a Nintendo Switch is because I'm severely in debt. I'ma cut the crepe and get straight to the reason point, but know this, it ain't gonna be pretty. Two words, cheese sticks. They started as just a snack, then it became a pastime, next a hobby, and next an addiction. I needed to switch my life for the better. I needed to go on a diet. More specifically, a 2% cheese cheese stick diet. The new 2% cheese stick diet was going great, until that one day I discovered banana flavored cheese sticks. They were my kryptonite. To give you an idea of what I was thinking at the time, I will quote from me. Man, cheese sticks sure are great. I was in a bad place then, when the only thing urging me forward were cheese sticks and the Nintendo Switch. I've started getting therapy and my addiction of banana flavored cheese sticks is now just a hobby, but I am still severely in debt. So that is why I need this. I hope you understand my situation and consider giving me a chance to win this. Thanks. I'm sorry you didn't win, Darren, but thanks for sharing and I'm glad you got help. I've been there myself and it ain't pretty. Morning, noon, and night brings us this tearjerker. On my birthday, I got a Nintendo Switch, so I brought it to school to play 1-2 Switch with my friends. Then this big mean bully came and then broke my Switch and threw it on the ground and then he beat me up. Then I was in the hospital and the bully came with a bag and inside was a Switch. Then the bully played Breath of the Wild in front of me. Then the bully said to me, ha ha, you can't play the Switch. Then I thought to myself, what a horrible birthday I had. The end. <gasps> nope, not quite. Close though. Dragoon Funny Kid brings us this one. To buy or not to buy, that is the question. Whether tis greater to purchase a Switch or to buy Pokemon Sun and Moon for my niece and nephew, my kin, I there's the dilemma. I chose the nobler path, but alas, to my dismay, my car was not so keen to such generosity and decided to shuffle off its mortal coil. Upon replacing it, my dreams of Zelda fade even further into the abyss, with only my plasma selling hope to keep it in my sight. Such is the woeful life of a college student. Extra points for the beautiful writing. The style sounds familiar, but I, I can't quite place it. This is a particularly excellent one from John Conacher. Well, since you asked me for this tale of why I was unable to purchase the Nintendo Switch, I will provide. I was residing in my residence when a servant informed me of the release of a new console, the Switch. Immediately, I leapt to my feet, which I had left in the corner. I demanded I was driven at full pelt to the nearest game store. Once I arrived, I ordered the Switch on Amazon. The following week, I waited in trepidation for the arrival of the new console. I saw my favorite YouTuber Arlo had uploaded new videos, Switch unboxing, Zelda, snipper clips, but I didn't want spoilers, so I only watched Zelda. After nights of waiting, I had finally had enough. I checked my order, but the dominoes hadn't arrived yet, so I looked at Amazon instead. I checked the wait listing of the console, which seemed less than I was expecting. Then, to my horror, I realized, instead of a Nintendo Switch, I had ordered light switches. What a disaster! I was so distraught that I was unable to recall the tale to anyone until now. I hope you can learn from this tale of woe. Yeah, uh, definitely one of my favorites. I couldn't make it to the store because I have to reset the clock every three days to make sure the moon doesn't smash into the earth and kill us all. The Switch is available on day four. That's extremely unfortunate, Como Shepard, but uh, thanks for being stuck in a temporal anomaly and continually saving all of us and stuff. This one from Tech Lazar is a bit too long and too tongue twistery for me to read, but I'll put it here for a bit so you can pause and read it. It's a work of art. This one is also long, but I can't not read it because it's just too wonderfully sad. It was the 3rd of March, how I remember that date. Out came the Nintendo Switch, the launch was so great. The problem, as you know, every place was sold out. I tried to search everywhere, this you should not doubt. I searched the Waffle Kingdom, but only found Princess Eclair. I also searched the Naval, but never go over there. 
I searched by the coast, right by Jolly Roger Bay, but only found an eel who only wanted to play. I tried my luck again at the Forest of Hope, but that store was out too, twas the Forest of Nope. I tried searching around Rogueport, the last place I'd roam, but wound up getting robbed and decided to go home. I arrived back at home, and what filled my sight? A couple neatly wrapped packages, my heart filled with delight. My lady bought me gifts, I knew she'd come through, but boy was I wrong, she had bought a Wii U. I saw the other gift my lady bought with cash, I began to sob uncontrollably, twas Paper Mario Color Splash. My tragic tales end here as I remain in diminuendo, for all I truly wanted was to play some Nintendo. The end. <laughs> whoa, 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 I think I feel a tear coming up. Eh, didn't quite make it. Uh, you were this close though, Heroic Teddy. Jared Markley also wrote a very lovely poem, but for the sake of brevity, I'm gonna let you read it on your own. Here's another one by Deacon Blinders you'll have to read on your own, though I wish I had time to read it because it is masterful. Do yourself a favor and imagine the reader with a deep, weary voice with a British accent. That Edward brings us my sad stories that a month before they announced the Switch, I bought a Wii U. Oh man, that came close. That came really close. That is just heartbreaking. Then Tommy Tom 21 brings us a similar one. When I bought a Switch on eBay, they gave me a Wii U gamepad and a toaster. That's harsh, dude. I feel your pain. I once bought a special edition Majora's Mask 3DS, but they sent me a DS Lite with Zelda written in Sharpie on the top. Well, this is it, our final entry. I don't know if Mr. Chuck Morris can actually make me cry at this point, but uh, hey, let's find out. Arlo, this entry is on behalf of the youngest Zelda fan you've ever met. Let me introduce you to my six-year-old daughter, Kelsey. <gasps> That's so cute. I loved Zelda as a kid, but now as a father in my late 20s, I had to skip the Wii U in college and certainly couldn't afford a brand new Switch at launch. But my N64 and Wii still run strong and Kelsey and I have bonded over Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, she loves Midna, and Skyward Sword, which we both just finished playing for the first time. Teaching her to simply walk straight on an N64 controller in Kokiri Village felt like teaching her to ride a bike on the very bike I used as a kid. Oh, that's painfully precious. How many little girls do you know whose favorite princess is not Elsa, but Zelda? Whose favorite horse is not Pinkie Pie, but Epona? Who swings around a stick in the backyard pretending it is not a magic fairy wand, but the Master Sword? She even had a Zelda-themed birthday party, much to my parents' bafflement. So as much as I love Zelda, this entry is on Kelsey's behalf. Stop, it's too adorable, I can't take it! It sounds so cliche, you're gonna think I'm making this up, but we have been saving up together to someday buy a Switch. She does extra chores for mommy for a few extra cents a day. We're still pretty far off though, and new games are a luxury to me now. I mean, have you ever bought a week's worth of groceries for a family of four? Thanks, Arlo, for making a dream come true for Kelsey and for me. Here's to a new generation of Zelda fans. <laughs> I was looking for sad stories, but what I got were tears of adorableness. Mr. Chuck Morris, you take this special edition Breath of the Wild and you give it to Kelsey. We need more people like you raising up new Zelda fans. I'll be in touch about shipping and whatnot, so check your YouTube messages. <laughs> well... Well, thanks so much for sending me your stories, you eight billion kabillion people who entered. Believe me when I say that there were way more great ones than I could ever put in one video. And if you put a lot of thought into your story, there's a very good chance that I read it and I liked it very much. Before I go to answer a common question, I am in the process of figuring out a way to sell you guys these Arlo shirts that I've got. I got a great big box of them, and uh, stay tuned, I will be announcing in a future video just how you can get your hands on one of them. So, thanks again for watching and entering and all that stuff, and I will see you later. Boo boo ba doo 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 random dancing booty doo, I don't know. How else are you supposed to end a video when you don't know what to do? Just random dancing, that's, that's a lesson for you guys out there. Random dancing.